Chris Query, tribute speech. On February 2nd, 2013, a private cavalry coach bus carrying 42 Bucks County natives, 35 students, and 7 adult chaperones, home from a college tour at Harvard University, was driving east on Soldiers Field Road in Boston, Massachusetts, when it struck the Western Ave Bridge at precisely 7.34 p.m. The police say the bus was two foot over height. The mistakes of the irresponsible bus driver changed the lives of everyone on the bus that night, but nobody was more affected than Matthew Cruz, a 16-year-old student from the Shamanian High School, and my best friend. Matt deserves all the respect and praise in the world. Matt should be praised for his hopeful attitude during his time of recovery, his inspiration to not only our country, but also the whole world, and his dedication to continue his everyday life as best he can in his complicated conditions. As a result of the accident, Matt suffered a broken neck and back, and at the moment, he's paralyzed from the waist down, and has limited use of his hands due to a swelling in his back. Through all his pain and suffering, Matt some, somehow finds an inner strength to keep moving forward towards recovery. If Matt didn't have strong willpower, he probably would have given up by now. But it takes a true man to rise to new heights at his lowest points. Regardless of Matt's physical status, he says it's a comical and op optimistic person that I've come to know and love. Even in his predicament, Matt never loses sight of the person he is and always will be. Actually, Matt sometimes even jokes about his legs because he hope his hopes are so high that he will, will walk again. He has no other mindset, and neither do I. And if Matt is going to recover to full health, he needs to keep that attitude until the end. I have faith that he won't disappoint and keep moving forward, not only for himself, but also for the people who are traveling this long, hard road right by his side. At only age 16, Matt is looked at as an inspiration to everybody. He suffered life-threatening injuries, and now he looks like as a privilege and a gift. We could all learn valuable lessons from Matt and his story. Even in our darkest times, we can triumph over injury and even death. Just look at Matt. It was just three months ago that Matt was on the border of life and death, but he conquered death and continues to strive towards full recovery. Another lesson is that life can be taken away in just a flash, so enjoy it while you have it. Matt's goal is to gain full feeling in his legs and hands again, but he's just glad to be alive. He realized how close to death he actually was and understands how vital life is, and he doesn't want to lose it anytime soon. Matt's victory over death and new outlook on life is astonishing and inspiring to everybody who knows of Matt and his amazing story. Matthew Cruz is the strongest kid I've ever known and seen, and he can, can, continues to impress me every day. I've never seen anybody work as hard as he does. He goes through six excruciating hours of rehab every day. Then he has to go home and deal with his mom. God bless him. All kidding aside, Matt gives 110% with everything he does. In the beginning of Matt's recovery, he couldn't really do much at all. But as he continues to work through rehab, he shows immediate results with his strength and hopeful heart. Matt has even started doing schoolwork again because he doesn't want to fall too hard behind in school. Teachers from his school give him private lessons at home. Not only is he improving physically and academically, but also mentally. The fact that he can continue to pick on me like he always does, like a brother, brings me nothing but joy. It shows that he hasn't changed a bit. He's the same old Matt, and I wouldn't want it any other way. Matt's commitment to giving it his all is what keeps him going in a positive direction, other than his support of Marvelous Fence, of course. But that's beside the point. Matt will not let this, let this affect him, because that's just the per kind of person he is. Matt will continue to live his life in the way that he wants to, and he will not fall victim to physical and capability. In conclusion, Matthew Cruz deserves nothing but respect and glorification. Matt will always have high hopes and continue to inspire everyone who knows him and will work toward his goal of recovery. The Boston bus crash was devastating, but remarkably, Matt has found a way to make it somewhat positive because God has kept him on this earth to be an inspiration to millions of people around the world, including myself. Matt and my girlfriend are my inspirations for everything I do. I thought about giving up, but if Matt can keep moving forward, I have to find a way to keep up. Matt has a very long and difficult road ahead of him, but I'll be there every step of the way to catch him if he falls. Matt is my brother and hero. Ooh.